Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. One of the many benefits of project management is the ability to perform earned value analysis. Note that this term is also often referred to as earned value management. This type of analysis allows you to view project statistics that reveal the overall health of the project based in terms of time and cost, while also assisting you in revealing trends that can often be indicative of the eventual success or failure of that project. Now when you view information from earned value analysis within your project file, you compare figures at a specified date and time against the project file figures saved into one of the baselines that you have created within the project file. Note that in order to perform earned value analysis, you must have saved at least one baseline copy of the project file in order to show earned value analysis results. You must also have accurately recorded the actual work and costs within the project file. In addition, you must select a status date so that Microsoft Office Project can compare the baseline values against the values recorded as of the status date. You can specify the status date within the Project Information dialog box. You can open this dialog box by selecting Project from the menu bar and then choosing the Project Information command. Now once you've accomplished these tasks, you can easily view the earned value schedule indicators for your project by selecting view from the menu bar, rolling down to table and then where it shows the current table name, and then just choosing more tables from the menu bar. Now in the more tables dialog box that appears, you can then select the earned value schedule indicators choice and then click the apply button to display the values in the Gantt chart view. Remember that these values are all set as of the selected status date for the project file, and you can change that date in the project information dialog box in order to change the number shown in this view. Now in this view you'll see the following data. You have the planned value, or PV as it's displayed in the column, which is the budgeted cost of the work scheduled as of the status date. The earned value is the budgeted cost of the work performed as of the status date. The schedule variance, or SV, is the difference between the EV and the PV values. The schedule variance percentage, or SV and then the percent sign, shows the ratio of the schedule variance to the planned value, just expressed as a percentage. And that's how far behind or above the tasks uh, baseline value you are. So you can see this task looks like it's a little bit behind. You also have the SPI which is the Schedule Performance Index and that's an index value that, that basically shows how many cents worth of actual worth you're getting by the status date for every dollar that you plan to spend. So here you can see for task 4 we have a problem. For every dollar spent there's only 46 cents of actual worth being accomplished. Now note that you can also view the earned value cost indicators for your project file in this table view of the Gantt chart as well. You can switch this view by selecting view from the menu bar, rolling down to table and then the current table name, and then just choosing the more tables command from the side menu that appears. This time select earned value cost indicators from the more tables dialog box and then click apply. Just as with the other view, you'll see the planned value, or PV, and the earned value, or EV, columns. Also within this view, you will find the CV column, which is cost variance, and that's the difference between the EV and the actual cost of work performed as of the status date. The cost variance percentage, or CV percent, is the ratio of cost variance to PV expressed as a percentage. The CPI column, or Cost Performance Index, shows how many cents worth of work was accomplished for each dollar's worth of work that was spent. The Budget at Completion is the total baseline cost for the task. The Estimate at Completion represents the forecasted cost to complete the task. 
the variance at completion is the VAC, and that's the difference between the BAC and the EAC. And then you have the to complete performance index, which is the TCPI. That shows the ratio of work remaining to the budget remaining as of the status date. Note that for users of Microsoft Office Project 2007, who also happen to have Microsoft Excel 2003 or later installed, you can also create a new visual earned value over time report. This is one of the new Excel reports that are available within Project. This report shows a standard S-curve line chart that traces the cumulative values of three key indicators over time. The three indicators shown in this report are the actual cost of work performed, or AC as it's called in the report, the budgeted cost of work scheduled, which is called planned value in this report, and the budgeted cost of work performed, which is called earned value. Now note if you're using a version of project prior to 2007, you can still generate a report like this by using the Analyze Time Scaled Data add-in that is available within Excel as a separate task. Now to create this report in Microsoft Office Project 2007, simply select Report from the menu bar and then choose the Visual Reports command. This causes the new Visual Reports dialog box to appear. Note that you must have the Microsoft Office Excel checkbox checked in order to show templates from Excel within this dialog box on the tabs below. Also, you must have Microsoft Excel 2003 or later also installed on your computer. Note that there are many types of reports that are available for use within Project 2007 now. To open the Earned Value Over Time report, click the Assignment Usage tab and then click the Earned Value Over Time Report name shown within this tab. Typically, you'll select weeks from the Select Level of Usage data to include in this report. At this point, you can just click the View button in the Visual Reports dialog box to open Microsoft Excel and show the resultant chart and pivot table for the report. Once the report has been created within Excel, you can then manipulate it as needed in order to display your desired data. Now once you finish creating your reports in Microsoft Project, you can actually click the Close button within the Visual Reports dialog box to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com free.